I'm Dr. Brooks Blevins. Welcome to OZK 150, Introduction to Ozark Studies, a unique class that we have here at Missouri State University and that you probably won't find anywhere else. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the syllabus and give you a little introduction to the class as you get ready to, to start looking over the lectures and, and over the different videos that we've got for you this semester. Uh, this is a, a freshman level class, uh, which means there's, uh, there's not just a whole lot of reading, but you do have two uh, or three textbooks, and those will be listed in your syllabus. And the syllabus will be uh, kept up to date throughout the semester, occasionally uh, I uh, change little things here or there, uh, but I'll let you know uh, through Blackboard if any, if any changes are made to the syllabus, and you can always uh, go on Blackboard and get a, a brand new copy of the syllabus, an updated copy of that. Uh, the, uh, the semester will be divided into uh, different lectures, and you will be able to watch the lectures. Uh, there are several of these uh, that uh, will have at least somewhat corresponding PowerPoint programs on Blackboard. And, uh, and the Blackboard uh, will be divided into 14 PowerPoint shows. Now there will be more than 14 lectures, but uh, several of the PowerPoint uh, shows have, uh, slideshows have uh, more than one lectures affiliated with them. And uh, you'll cover uh, the first half of those, seven of the Blackboard slideshows for the midterm exam, that's the, the first exam of the semester, and you'll cover the next seven, the last seven, uh, for the second exam, the, the final exam. So you just have two exams in the class, a midterm and a final exam, and the format for those uh, will be exactly uh, the same. You will have, uh, it's a, it's a three-part exam, or an exam that has three different uh, sections to it. Uh, the first part is just what I call a, a listing part, uh, which you will be asked to list various things that I go over in the lectures, uh, having to do with uh, Ozark's history, Ozark studies, uh, di all the different kinds of things that we cover in the semester. The second part is a matching section, and it's just like it sounds. You match the description, usually with a person. That's a matching usually has to do with people that that I talk about in the lectures and that you read about in the textbooks for the course. And then the third part is the writing part of the exam and you'll write short identifications for five or six, depending on the, uh, the particular exam, uh, names, people, places, things like that that we've talked about and you'll explain why they're significant to the study of the Ozarks. And that's how the midterm exam will look and that's how the final exam will look. And on Blackboard, you will be able to access what I call a reading guide. It's not a study guide. It's not a traditional study guide that covers everything that could possibly show up on the exam. It's a reading guide that covers your textbook readings. Since I don't often refer to those in the lectures, uh, I put the reading guide on there to have you look for certain concepts, for certain names, people, things like that in the textbooks that we may or may not get to in uh, various lectures. And that's what the reading guide is for. Most of the exam material will come from the lectures and uh, subsequently from the PowerPoint slideshows that are part of the lectures. So don't forget when you see that, that reading guide, that is not a comprehensive study guide. It's for the textbooks only and you still need to, to really pay attention to those lectures and to those PowerPoint slideshows that are part of those lectures. The, uh, as you'll see on the syllabus, the uh, lectures are generally arranged by topic. Uh, Ozarks religion, Ozarks folk tales, Ozarks vernacular architecture, all that kind of stuff. And as I mentioned earlier, those will correspond to uh, one of the slideshows, one of the PowerPoint slideshows on Blackboard. So you'll need to look those up. Assignments in addition to the two exams that I've already told you about, uh, you, will, you will do a, a map quiz 
And this should be a, a nice, easy way to, to start off uh, your semester in OZK 150. Uh, you will have a, a blank map uh, that will be available uh, through Blackboard and you'll simply fill in the map, uh, fill in the county names and county seats and things like that. It's, uh, it's obviously something that you can use a map for. Uh, there's no, no problem with that. Uh, you will write a, uh, you'll write a book review and there will be a list of eligible books to review on Blackboard. And uh, these uh, can be fiction, nonfiction, but they all have to do something with the Ozarks. And there will be a, a description uh, on the syllabus of exactly what's expected of you in writing this book review. And the, the end of the semester assignment that you have, writing assignment, is what I call the Ozarks Journal. And this is meant to be something that's fun, but also gets you to thinking about different things to do with the Ozarks. And uh, the Ozarks Journal, uh, as the syllabus indicates, is divided into four different parts. Uh, you'll do a, uh, a film review uh, where, again, I'll have a list on Blackboard of eligible films, TV shows, things like that you, that you can watch and review in relation to how these things uh, relate to some of the things we talk about in the lectures, uh, especially as they relate to stereotypes of the Ozarks and things like that. Uh, so that's one, one of the entries in your Ozarks Journal. You will address uh, at, at least once in the semester uh, some sort of topic that I put on Blackboard that will have to do with uh, Ozarks images or the Ozarks in the news or something like that, and you'll, you'll write sort of a reaction paper to that. That'll be part of the journal. Uh, you'll need to keep an eye th throughout the time that you're in OZK, OZK 150 on how the Ozarks and Ozarks references show up in popular culture, or in general how uh, hillbilly, mountaineer stereotypes sometimes pop up in, in popular culture. And uh, usually it's easy to spot some of these from time to time, and you'll react to, to one of those. That'll be just something you see on your own on TV or in the movies or in magazines or uh, the internet or something like that. And then the, the last part of the Ozarks Journal is the Ozarks Road Trip, and that's meant to, to get you out and, and get you to uh, into the Ozarks so that you see the region that you're studying about and listening to these lectures about, uh, especially out into the rural Ozarks. If you're from Springfield or you're from St. Louis or somewhere like that and you maybe don't have a lot of experience out in the, uh, in the middle of the Ozarks, uh, in the rural areas, and uh, there's, there are detailed descriptions on the kinds of things you'll be looking for and, and reporting on in this uh, road trip section of the Ozarks Journal. And uh, so hopefully you'll have a good time on that and, uh, and learn a little bit about the Ozarks, see a little of the country that you uh, might not ordinarily see. The, uh, the exams, uh, the midterm and the final exam will each count for 25% of your course grade. The uh, Ozarks Journal will count for another 25% of your course grade. And then all of the other things, the map quiz, the book review, uh, will, uh, will account for uh, the rest of, of your grade. So it's a pretty, pretty easy to understand, pretty easy to follow the, the math and the course. And, uh, but I hope you uh, have a good time in the course. I hope uh, you learn a lot about the Ozarks, whether you're a native of the region or not. Hope you enjoy the readings, and uh, good luck in OZK 150.